AB 1726, the AHEAD Act, is based on a simple principle that all community members should be counted and no one should be left behind. It also rests on the principle that more data is better and accurate data is good data. And we can get accurate data by disaggregating our current data and breaking it down into smaller groups that provide more insights and more nuances and more information. And under the AHEAD Act, we can help California complete a fuller picture, a richer picture of what's happening in our communities. And the AHEAD Act will have very important uh, results and outcomes. We believe that we will uncover health and education disparities within the California API population because of the, the AHEAD Act. Whether it be revealing that hepatitis B occurs uh, more frequently in the Chinese American community than in other communities, or that the rate of suicide is higher in the Korean American community than in other communities, or that certain Southeast Asian groups, including Vietnamese and Cambodian, have lower educational achievement um, results. There is so much that we can learn by breaking down our data and, and studying it more closely, and that is exactly what the AHEAD Act does. And as policymakers, legislators, um, as uh, foundation leaders or nonprofit organization leaders, we want to make data-driven, evidence-based policy uh, that understands the complete problem um, and seeks to provide solutions to it. And without data, we can't do that in the most effective way. So the AHEAD Act will arm us uh, with that very important data. And we think that the data provided by the AHEAD Act can save lives, improve health, and provide new opportunity, both in the doctor's office as well as in the classroom. And the data will be a first step. And this bill simply requires that collection of data. And we will have debate later uh, once we have that data in hand regarding where that data takes us, what action steps um, we will take next, what policy changes, uh, if any, we will, we will take with the data. And uh, this bill uh, provides no prejudgment on what those steps will be, but it does say that we can make better decisions when we have the right uh, data in, in front of us. This comes down to a pretty simple issue. We don't look the same, we're not the same. We are a group of people who identify as Asian Pacific Islander Americans, but we have very different levels of achievement in higher education, different needs in health. We speak different languages. We have different cultures. But we have a need for certain services. We have a need and a desire for education and in order to get that for everyone, we need to figure out who's where and who's getting what. When the reality is that two in three Hmong, Laotian, Cambodian, and Vietnamese adults have never attended college, and one in three do not even have a high school degree, that in health, Cambodian, Korean, and Thai Americans have higher rates of being uninsured, that our students, parents and our grandparents become invisible in outdated data systems that lump them all under the Asian category when there are more than 23 distinct communities within our groups. At that, and that we recognize that the data that we do have about our communities are from the U.S. Census. And while great, this information is far too late for public health agencies and education institutions to intervene to close these disparities. So we should understand that AB 1726 is part of a long legacy of important civil rights legislation that reveals the different ways that different communities are discriminated against. You know, I think it's especially important for community members to understand that this type of systemic discrimination can improve health, can save lives, and can make sure that everyone has equal opportunities. Uh, as it currently stands, California does not do a sufficient job of disaggregating data for parts of our community. And we know, as, as others have said, that the Asian American and Pacific Islander community is very diverse. AB 1726 would allow us to know deeper levels of information about things like health insurance coverage, rates of disease, and enrollment in community colleges and state universities. With this knowledge open and visible, both policymakers and community organizations will be better equipped to address the needs of the community. 
by having access to, to disaggregated data, all of California's Asian American and Pacific Islander communities are strengthened. With the HEAD Act, we can make visible communities that had previously been rendered invisible. With the HEAD Act, we can transform lives of Californians like Paku Her, the Hmong student who sat beside me and testified in a higher ed committee um, recently and testified that she was the first person in her family ever to attend college. And that's what this bill is about, getting good data that renders communities visible that have previously been invisible and making sure that we have the opportunity to transform lives and create good policy. Mm -hmm.